In this Illustrator tutorial, let's take a look at how to justify text. So to justify text, you need to have a text box. Press T for the type tool. That's this little T icon over here in your toolbar. Now to make a text box, we need to click and drag. That's going to create a text box. It'll probably fill it in with a little bit of lorem ipsum. We're going to change the size of this to something we can see, like 40 points. And then the other thing I'm going to do is refill this. So I'm going to go up to type, down to insert or fill with placeholder text. And we should be able to delete that out. Okay, let's refill this again. I just don't want it to go beyond the text box so we can actually see the last line. Now, we can select this text box and then we need to open up the paragraph panel. You can also see some quick options in your properties panel down here where you can see where you can justify and align your text. I prefer to open up the paragraph panel by going up to window, down to type, and then opening paragraph, just because I feel like I have more options. In fact, I can even show more options in here if you don't see everything. However, like I said before, you can align left, center, right, or justify with the last line left, the last line center or the last line right. Now you see there's a line here, that's because that is a paragraph break, and so it also will align anywhere there's a paragraph break. You can also justify all the way across every single line, but that is how you can justify text. Now, if you don't have a paragraph text, maybe you just have typed out here some words and things, and then you actually want this to be paragraph text, you can switch it. If we select this text, which is called point type, and we come up here to the type dropdown, we can convert it to area type, which means a text box. And once we convert it to area type, this actually acts like a text box. The only difference here is any paragraph breaks that we've included, we need to get rid of. So right here, there was a return dropping down this text. So we need to get rid of that and make sure it's just a space. That way this text will actually flow. Right now it's also justified and you can align it or justify it and you can swap back and forth by also double clicking on this handle here. So you double click on this handle, it'll convert it from point type to area type. So that's a little quicker way to do that. But you need a text box and then you can actually justify your type. If you don't have a text box, you won't be able to justify anything. It won't move or anything like that. That's how you can justify text here in Adobe Illustrator.